What's up UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie. Today we're gonna to be unboxing, setting up, and calibrating the X-Horse XP007 manual key cutter for high security keys. This thing is accurate, easy to use. It's pretty simple to set up. Honestly, it almost comes out of the box ready to go. We're gonna check it out right now. Come with me. Included in the box is one power cord and adapter, a cleaning brush, Z-axis control handle, user manual and quality certifications, hex wrenches from 2mm to 4mm, two replacement seals, a double-sided probe, two milling cutters, 1.5mm and 2.5mm, and two alignment shims, a test key, two key tip aligners, and the XP007 key duplicator itself. To set up, Remove the zip tie from shipping, and then remove the protective bolt and install the handle. Find the included double-sided probe and insert it into the right side mount. Then insert the milling cutter into the left side mount with the flat edge facing the screw. This here was our Y, X controller. Left and right, X, front and back, Y. These two locks control the X axis lock. If I lock this one, I get a little bit of wiggle room back and forth, about the width of a key. So I'll go ahead and line this up here, go back and forth. That's all the room we need. So once you lock this, that's all you can do. If we lock this one in the center, and this one on the side, we get no left to right movement, only front to back. No left to right, front to back only. Our lock, position lock for the probe, if we put it all the way down, you'll see that this can move up and down ever so slightly. This is our micro adjustment up and down for the probe arm, counterclockwise up, clockwise down. Okay, this over here is our Z position controller controls the depth up and down of our probe and cutter. So if we bring it halfway, we can tighten it and then it won't move. Go down, tighten it, move. And if I put it tight, you just get a resistant movement here. You want to be more delicate with your touch. This arm here, if we put it down, it keeps this whole thing from moving anywhere. So if you want to stop your Y position, that's what this is for. Put it down, no movement. So if we're gonna move this machine, nothing's gonna shake. And I can slide the whole clamp off. And so we have position one, position two, position three, and position four. If we wanted this to go in this direction, we need to loosen this one and then tighten this side. When we tighten this, it's gonna push it slightly this direction. Same with this. If we wanted to move this side backwards, so we loosen this, pull it out, tighten this, push it in, and when we're pushing it in, it's going to push it backwards, giving us more distance towards the back to even these up. We're going to loosen them both. Whichever one you tighten more is the direction it's going to push. Once we switch it to on, our LED light comes on right under here. And then if we switch it to one, the milling cutter starts spinning at 8,000 RPM. If I switch it to two, we're going up to 10,000 RPM. So this will give you a nice amount of selection depending on how you want to go about it or what you need to do. So, turn it back to this on and we turn right off. The machine has a battery inside of it. This is your battery level. This is your charge. When the machine is plugged in, this thing turns on, showing you that it's charging. If it's orange, if it's green, you're fully charged. It was a really great charge for about 40 keys or 60 hours. 
This is your left indicator. This is your right indicator. I meant for the usage of adjusting. When both sides are touching, you'll get a light on for both sides, which is how you tell if you are aligned or not. If I go right here, alignment, make both sides at the same time, you'll see that this side is touching first instead of this side. Same as if I come to the front here, you'll see that this side is touching first before that side does. Same as if I go on the inside. When I go this way, this one's touching first. When I go this way, that one's touching first. Right now I don't have a probe on both sides, but I'm gonna go ahead and get another probe so we can do the calibration. Today we're going to be cutting an HU101 high security key for a Lincoln Navigator. Uh, I'm going to be using a Keyless Factory high security metal key, HU101. Keyless Factory has some of the most affordable security test keys out there. Really, you got to check it out. They can easily be found by typing MTK on the search bar at uhs-hardware.com or by searching the keyway HU101. Right now I'm going to line these keys up at the tip using a shim. Once they're aligned, I'm going to go ahead and cut our new duplicate. So just give me a sec. All right, now that's done. I'm going to clean it off and flip it over. And then we're going to realign it and continue. Peace out. All right, now that we're done, I'm gonna loosen it up here, take it out. That's such a clean cut. It's a perfect duplicate, look at that. That was pretty easy, pretty quick too. The X-Horse Dolphin XP007 has to be one of the easiest machines I've ever used to cut high security keys. I recommend it fully. Come check it out at uhs-hardware.com. Check out this machine as well as all the other X-Horse products that we have for sale. These things are fantastic. Go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel so you can make sure you're up to date with all the new content coming out every other day. We've got all kinds of stuff going on all the time. Make sure you're in the know as soon as it comes out. If you have any questions, any concerns, any thoughts, go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section. If you're interested in a free key mat right now, go ahead and enter hashtag UHS hardware in the comments below, wherever you're seeing this, and we'll send this out to you right away. Just gotta give us a little bit of information, we'll have it right to you. Follow us at all social media networks. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, as well as YouTube. So make sure you're following us and keeping up to date with everything that goes on in all those places. I'm Louie, it's been great hanging out with you guys. Have a good one.